Good morning, everybody. Today, we have a really freaking cool video for you. We are back on the topic of infrared, and we're looking at our Black Widow V2 handheld monocular. Now, you're probably wondering, why are we talking about the V2 if we're talking about infrared? Well, we've come out with a new product for the V2 that will add full infrared capabilities. Now, not only will you get infrared capabilities, but you're gonna be able to remove that very annoying mounting bracket that we're probably all a little bit too familiar with. Here I have everything hooked up, and let me pan the camera out so you can look at the top. There we go. We have everything hooked up, and if you look at our V3, okay, down here we have the infrared illuminator. What we've gone ahead and done was we've taken that out, we've created a mounting bracket for it, and you can mount the illuminator directly to the top of your V2. Now, we're only halfway done with the problem, right? How are we gonna detect that infrared light? Well, we've created an IP camera that you mount directly to the back of the monocular. Let me give you a quick demo here. Here we have the IP camera. If you look in the middle, we have the camera and that'll go directly over the eyepiece on the monocular. And then on the back, we have a Wi-Fi dongle. Now you can connect to that Wi-Fi dongle locally through your phone, okay, like I am here. And then you get a live view of whatever you have your monocular aimed at. And by doing that, you're getting rid of that very annoying mounting bracket. And because we're doing it over Wi-Fi, you really are not gonna have any kind of delay or lag or anything like that. Uh, if we were to do it over Bluetooth, yeah, there would be a bandwidth problem, uh, but we're not. We're doing it locally via Wi-Fi. It's very, very cool. If we look here, I have the IP camera hooked up. Let's see if I can aim at anything in particular. And then you would operate the monocular like you would normally, right? Here you go, you operate the focus. Blurry. Let me sharpen that up. There you go. So pretty freaking cool, but uh, that is really only half the battle. What we're really here for is the infrared capabilities. So the way that would work, right? You're gonna need a dark environment to, to do it in. And I'm gonna attempt to, I'm gonna attempt to do it for you, but you know, you're gonna have to cut me a break if I can't do it that well, because it's daytime here. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take the phone and we're gonna go on a little field trip to the bathroom. Okay, everybody, we're in the bathroom right now. I have everything configured. I have a towel on the floor of the door blocking any light from coming in. I have the brightness on my phone turned all the way down. There is literally nothing in here that would create any kind of light. Um, if we look at the camera, I will pan up. Luckily, I think my camera can detect the uh, infrared light. It can, look at that. Pretty cool, we have the infrared light coming out. Uh, we have it aimed at a bottle in the corner near the bathtub. I don't really know what we're looking at, um, but it does in fact work. We're in a pitch black environment and it is quite well illuminating uh, whatever we have our target aimed at. Now, let me turn on the light and you guys can look at how I have this all configured. Pretty cool. And then we are looking at that thing over there. So pretty neat. Um, I would bear in mind that a monocular is meant to work far away, not from three feet away, but um, you know, we will make do and demo and I'll come out with another video where we can get a better look on the field at how the Black Widow V2 infrared adapter can perform. But for now, take care and definitely look into the product while we have them available. I don't know how long they're gonna be available for.